This man had the impossible task of directing his bomber to safety while severely wounded and losing blood. In November of 1944, while on a mission, 2nd Lieutenant Robert Famoyo was navigating for a U.S. bomber when the bomber was struck by three enemy anti-aircraft shells. The plane suffered serious damage and 2nd Lieutenant Famoyo was severely wounded in the side and back. Despite extreme pain and great loss of blood, he refused the morphine offered. He was determined to keep his mind clear in order to direct his plane out of danger and so save his comrades. Not being able to arise from the floor, he asked to be propped up to enable him to see his charts and instruments. He successfully directed the navigation of his bomber for two and a half hours, so it avoided more enemy fire and returned to the field without further damage. Only when the plane had arrived in the safe area over the English Channel did he feel that he had accomplished his objective, then and only then, he permitted an injection of a sedative. He died shortly after being moved from the plane. Subscribe for more.